how are you doing today? Hope you have learnt up to the chemical properties that we did till last class. Today we go into the reducing actions of ammonia because ammonia is a strong reducing agent. What do you mean by reduction? Reduction can happen either by removal of oxygen or reduction is also addition of hydrogen. Two ways reduction can happen. When it is removal of oxygen, we have copper oxide reduced to copper, lead oxide reduced to lead and when it is addition of hydrogen, chlorine is reduced to hydrogen chloride. So these are the equations and reactions that we are going to look into. Now first let us see the first one, copper oxide and lead oxide. For this we use a diagram where there is a combustion tube that's very hard and there is a tube that has ammonia gas that's being passed. Okay, now there are two things that are placed here. One has copper oxide like this which is black in color and the other one has lead oxide which is yellow in color. Okay. Now, these are heated. Both are heated. Ammonia gas is passed. As it is passed, it starts reacting to reduce, copper becomes the black copper is changed into pinkish brown copper oxide, black copper oxide gets converted or reduced to pinkish brown copper metal. Meanwhile, the yellow or buff yellow lead oxide or lead monoxide gets reduced to silvery white lead. So the metal gets reduced. Meanwhile, there is also water that is formed and nitrogen gas is also one of the products. water which condenses and the reactions go this way copper oxide reacts with ammonia 
heated to give copper plus water plus nitrogen. Two nitrogen is there, so two in H3, six, therefore you have three here, three oxygen, therefore three here and three here. Similarly, lead oxide also reacts with ammonia to give you lead plus water plus nitrogen. Three, two here and three here. So these are the reactions wherein ammonia acts as a reducing agent and by removing oxygen from metallic oxides and forming the respective metals with the observations being black copper oxide, pinkish brown copper metal, buff yellow lead oxide, silvery grey lead metal. Now we move on to the next set of reactions. The reducing action continues with the addition of hydrogen. This happens with chlorine in two reactions. One is when ammonia is in excess. Here ammonia reacts with chlorine to give ammonium chloride and nitrogen. Actually speaking, ammonia reacts with chlorine to initially give hydrogen chloride and further reacts to give with ammonia, it gives ammonium chloride and nitrogen. So when hydrogen chloride is formed here, which means chlorine gets converted to hydrogen chloride and addition of hydrogen takes place here. Okay, so this is the reaction that happens. Six here, and if this is six plus two, so eight here. This is the reaction that happens. Now, when this is formed, ammonium chloride is formed, this will give dense white fumes. So, you can see dense white fumes just like we see dense white fumes when hydrogen chloride and ammonia are brought together because that also gives ammonium chloride. Here also we have dense white fumes. The next reaction that we are going to see is when chlorine is in excess. Again, ammonia reacts with chlorine. This time it gives hydrogen chloride and nitrogen trichloride as one of the products. Three, four, and three. Okay, this one is a yellow explosive liquid. So the color that we have here is yellow explosive liquid. These are the two ways in which ammonia can react with chlorine. When it is in excess, you get ammonium chloride and nitrogen with dense white fumes. When chlorine is in excess, you get nitrogen trichloride and hydrogen chloride. Now we move on to the last part of the chapter, that is the uses of ammonia. Now when you take this ammonia, you can divide or it can be present either in the gaseous form or it could be ammoniacal liquor which is ammonium hydroxide or it could be liquid or liquefied ammonia. All these three have different
different uses. In the gaseous state, 80% of fertilizers make use of ammonia. See, when you have potted plants, first time you grow a flower, it's so big and huge. As the days go by, the flower becomes smaller and smaller. The next lot of flowers, they are smaller. The next lot are smaller. Why this difference? Because the soil loses its fertility. And from time to time, we tend to add, we should add fertilizers. And thereby, all the crops and all the things, the plants need fertilizers. 80% of the fertilizers, they need they are made or prepared from ammonia being the raw material because what we what the plant needs is nitrogen and the source of nitrogen is ammonia for example there are some fertilizers like urea which is widely used and then you have ammonium sulfate This is more preferred than ammonium nitrate because it's explosive and it's very difficult to store ammonium nitrate though it's also a good fertilizer. We prefer ammonium sulfate and urea. So fertilizers are made then we also have dyes, resins, polymers which are made from ammonia. Then we have synthetic products or synthetic products compounds like nitric acid which is manufactured from ammonia so these are the some of the uses that ammonia has then we also have ammoniacal liquor which is a cleansing agent what do you mean by cleansing agent it is able to emulsify which means to break down fat or grease so what happens is when your clothes or fabric has grease stains, when you apply soap or hot water, it doesn't go. But when ammoniacal liquor or ammonium hydroxide is added, it is it can be easily removed. So it's used as a cleansing agent. It's also used to clean window panes. So these are the uses of ammoniacal liquor. Coming to liquid ammonia, it's used as a refrigerant. This also is because of certain properties, certain advantages that it has. This is highly volatile. Ammonia is highly volatile. So evaporates easily. Then it liquefies easily at minus 33 degrees and then does not contribute to global warming. That's very very important in today's world. So because of these advantages it is used as a refrigerant. So the important things are fertilizers, then you have manufacture of nitric acid, then it's used as a cleansing agent and then used as a refrigerant. So these are the uses of ammonia and with that we finish this lesson on ammonia.